All right, I guess we're doing this. I am Live the Truth, and today I'm going to be reacting to the One Piece anime episode 1077. Episode 1076, basically Luffy brought down the hand of God onto Kaido, sent that man into the core of the earth, and now he's basically on cloud nine smiling as he made so many people's dreams come true. Last, uh, last episode we saw the plight, the pain that Wano had to go through, and now we get to feel the reprieve, the final resolution of it, now that Kaido is done. So I'm assuming we're going to start the post Wano stuff at this point, and I can't wait to see basically how we go into this, because I know what's coming next, I know even post Wano is nuts. So without further ado, One Piece episode 1077, let's go. It's probably fading, yeah it's fading now. Now the fight's over. And he goes to sleep immediately. That's just like me. Kaido's still falling through the earth. <laughs> Dang, how hard did you hit him, Luffy? Okay, so there's Kaido and Big Mom's whole both of them. We saw Big Mom going to the lava, so yeah, Kaido deformed and everything. <laughs> My goodness. T right into the lava, take himself a lava bath. The curtain falls. The winner, Straw Hat Luffy. Let it be known. Oh, he's declaring Luffy the winner to everyone in Onigashima. And he's saying how Momo helped him take the place down in his dragon form. Oh, he big up in them. Nice. We finally won. I did it. I took down the Emperor, two of them. You still pose out. I feel like you just stuck. I feel like you just, you've been posing this whole arc. <laughs> Come on, Rise Up. I feel like somebody should do something about Apu, but ain't nobody gonna do nothing. He's too strong for anyone less than a world generation to deal with him, and there ain't no one gonna deal with him. I had a problem with a doctor. Problem with a doctor on a battlefield. <laughs> Zoro, Kinemon, and now. Bro. Merc stop it. Why are you even here? Thank you. Chopper's not even dealing with you right now, bro. Go to the side somewhere. He knew that he would get killed if he got caught. Where do you hear all this from? Toko. あ、してくれなかったら。そこまでに積み上げた全ての希望の火が消えていた。いや、if Heartbreaking, really, truly. The small fruit, is this when Toko ate it? Yeah. Probably out of pure hunger. Can you blame her though, a kid? Can you blame her? Oh. 
That face. That face is just pure. She was just hungry. Like I said, can you blame her? And then the adults over there eating it as well, cutting it up, giving it out. And if she don't know any better, she sees them laughing about it. Oh, man. It's hard to, hard to even understand as a kid. As a kid? Oh man. <laughs> to take the girl's forced laughter, forced smile, and make it a genuine one. To make her genuinely happy and smile. Since she was forced to smile, now he's going to make it so that every moment she is going to smile. It, even if he has to put on that smile with her. Is he, is he talking to Zunisha telepathically? Not even with his mouth? Okay, you're not... To tell Zunisha not to open the gates, he's not opening the gates? Granted, y'all probably can't deal with the Marines after taking on two Emperors, so probably a wise call right there. An earthquake now? What? What now? Is that is that kind of one Big Mom just chilling in the lava? That a hole in the ground? That's is that from? No, that's not from Law. Law didn't do it in the water, and Luffy didn't punch him through water. Is that an undersea volcano or something? That, oh my goodness, just erupted? What? Yeah, an undersea volcano? What in the world? The Kaido and Big Boss prison should shake up the foundation of, their, of the, the mountain that they were on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Declare the winner <laughs> is now Luffy. So was that a stout the siren to let them know? Hey, it's over. Done with. Luffy won. Incoming pink dragon. No call for alarm. Pull in and put a Kaido pose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He pulled in and the Kaido pose. They thought he was Kaido. That we roughing with the final send off for Kaido. Okay, way to use it like that. That works. Ooh, coming down all flashy. Yeah, Hiyori, Skull Clash is coming out, which they're going to see as Kumurasaki, which they haven't seen because she's been dead. <laughs> Their minds are going to get blown from one way from another. Kyoshiro, sleeping Kyoshiro, the, the scabbard that were quote-unquote dead. Oh, their, their minds about to get blown. It's a long story. But we present the new Shogun of the land of Wano. Yes, sir. The new Shogun, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. And, of course, they ended it there so we don't get to actually see 
uh, Momo's actual full body form. We know he's about to transform, so that's gonna be in the next episode. But hey, it's final. It is set in narrative. Like, hey, maybe I called it a bit early. That that kind of victory. Nah, let's scratch that. Let's ring the actual bell this time. Cause Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy. Yeah, he's the actual winner. He got that one. <laughs> oh my God. Luffy is the king, the comeback king. Only this man will come back so many times that the narrator will literally the clown hit, declare him the loser, and then he would be we have to revise his own narrator. <laughs> oh my goodness! But it's over and done with. Kaido and Big Mom chilling in lava and at the bottom, causing an undersea volcano to erupt. <laughs> Wow, so this was, if there was any question, this episode was basically, no questions, it's over. Now we're about to let the people of Wanda know what happened. People of Wanda were oblivious to it all. Now we're about to unveil the curtain and let y'all know what's been going down. Now we're about to break y'all minds and y'all about to be free real quick. <laughs> but 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 I was actually really surprised at how powerful the, uh, the Toko scene in here was. Well, her little memory of Yasue, because Yasue golden. Yasue the unsung hero, to be honest. <laughs> uh, maybe think the raid would still went off, but not as well as it did now. We were put in the position where because of Yasue. And Toko, Yasue sacrifice for Toko, I don't even know if you can call it a sacrifice, but Toko eating the apple and the smile and being forced to laugh and now she can't express nothing else but smile and laughter. And Yasuo also eating the apple, not only to show her that she's not alone, but also to make it so that her forced smile doesn't have to be forced. Make it genuine laughter, a genuine smile. That is, that's the level of sacrifice only, only certain people can really understand. I, unsung hero for real for real and there's no taking away from him otoko otoko recognizing it changing it her, her level of perception like hey i know my father figure was my dad was in the high standing i know he sacrificed himself for a good cause i still miss him though but you know what instead of missing him i'm gonna say thank you thank you for giving us the chance to have a future and now that momo popped down and is about to be the new shogun that future that chance he gave y'all for is about to come to fruition powerful just powerful but that was an amazing episode one piece episode 1077 i have been lived the truth and i'm gonna catch you in the next one i'm out